this technique is my personal favorite and this works a lot because apart from increasing your fluency this technique also develops your confidence because hello everyone welcome back to another session of learning english with me how are you all hope you're doing great so are you ready today i'm going to tell you something very important have you ever wondered how to speak confident english how to speak english confidently how to become a confident speaker that when you speak english people praise your confidence you don't feel nervous and it just comes out of you naturally and confidently so in today's video i'm going to tell you three techniques through which you can become a confident english speaker three techniques to develop your english speaking confidence because confidence is the key factor that also makes you fluent and we all want to be confident english speakers isn't that true so are you ready to become a confident english speaker i am shivangi gupta your english language tutor certified by university of cambridge uk and you're watching speak english with shivangi now talking about the three techniques well these three techniques are designed in order to practice your english speaking in such a way that you become confident so confidence is the keyword here because confidence is an important factor of becoming fluent we all know that if you want to become a fluent english speaker we also have to become a confident english speaker why because sometimes there are people who are accurate in their english that is they can speak fluent english but they are not able to speak that fluent english why because they just lack the confidence of speaking english they don't have that confidence to go out and speak english in front of somebody and that is why developing your confidence while speaking english is also equally important as becoming fluent in english so are you ready to know about three techniques let's begin with the technique number 1 so the technique number 1 is mirror talk now mirror talk is one of the excellent techniques that i know where you can develop your confidence a lot as the word suggests mirror talk mirror talk is it's like you are talking to yourself but in a more focused way like you're able to judge yourself when you are speaking because you have a mirror in front of you so as the name suggests mirror talk what you have to do is you have to go and stand in front of a mirror and then speak on a topic so when we have mirror talk i suggest in mirror talk don't use something that is random don't randomly babble things out in english babbling is like you don't have a purpose of speaking english you're just saying whatever is coming to your mind if you are doing this mirror talk technique it's a very focused technique so stay focused take a topic it can be any topic maybe uh for example my last saturday what i did on last saturday another topic could be a rainy day in my life there are incidences when people they are out of their homes either they're going to office maybe going to college or something else and then there is this heavy rain and often people get stuck or like there is an incident to tell so you can take any topic you can talk about something take a topic and then stand in front of a mirror and speak about it and then judge yourself look in the mirror and repeat the process this benefits a lot in developing confidence why because you're able to understand your mistakes where you're making mistakes whenever you take a pause you're aware about that pause you're taking and how long have you taken that particular pause you're aware about all the things you're aware about your body language because you can see yourself in the mirror that's why you're aware about your body language and in turn you're able to give attention to a lot of factors when we are speaking english 
whatever we are speaking is just not enough the sound that we are producing is not enough our body language the way we are speaking it the tone that we are using everything is important and mirror talk helps us recognize all the factors and where we are lacking so the thing is that you'll be able to judge your weaknesses and when you know your weakness bravo you have done half of your work already because in order to overcome those weaknesses or in order to turn those weaknesses into strengths first we have to know the weakness and now through mirror talk you know your weaknesses it's going to be easier for you to turn them into your strengths or at least overcoming those weaknesses isn't it great so the great technique to build your confidence mirror talk do this at least twice a week and then see the difference just stand in front of a mirror it can be a mirror in your bedroom it can be the mirror that you use in the morning while brushing your teeth but i suggest be a little professional and stand in front of the full length mirror uh, that you have fitted in a wardrobe almira or maybe a dressing table right so use that full length mirror to do this practice and it is going to benefit you a lot and you'll see the difference in your confidence within a month so the technique number 2 is speak to yourself now speak to yourself this technique is my personal favorite and this works a lot now why this works a lot because apart from increasing your fluency this technique also develops your confidence because when you're speaking to yourself there is no one to judge you nobody you're speaking to your own self you can do this any time whenever you find solitude so solitude is alone time me time so whenever you find some kind of alone time me time whenever you're alone you can definitely do this particular technique now there are two ways to do this technique one is speaking to yourself in your mind and speaking to yourself out loud if you want to develop your spoken english confidence i suggest you take the technique number 2 that is speaking to yourself out loud because if you won't speak out loud you will not be able to develop your confidence however speaking to yourself in mind is also important and don't we do it all the time a lot of time we talk to ourselves like we talk about our day or what we are doing this must have happened to you like you've walked into a room suddenly you've forgotten what to uh, do and maybe you were asked to bring something and suddenly you forgot what is it what is the task that you were assigned and then you speak to yourself oh my god i've forgotten why i was here oh no what i'm going to do you do this but the thing is that you do this in your native language change the habit start doing this in english language so whenever you're talking to yourself choose english language okay this will require your effort because this is not something you're doing naturally so deliberately choose english in order to talk to yourself and talking to yourself is not so difficult if you're thinking how am i going to always talk to myself in english thing is that you can take a topic and then talk to yourself on that topic maybe you can talk about your day that's the best thing talking about your day in english to yourself is the best technique of self talk or speak to yourself both are correct for this and this will help you to do it quickly without having much thought of selecting the topic because a lot of time we are not aware of what to speak what topic to take simple speak about your day what do you like about your day what was not so good what could have happened in some other way are you looking forward to the next day so these are something that you can do when you're doing self talk or speak to yourself do speak to yourself again i've told you why this works because there's no one to judge around you so even if you're making mistakes that's fine you know that no one is judging me and you're comfortable in speaking english slowly and gradually when you're comfortable with whatever you're speaking you will start having confidence over the time you'll also start overcoming your mistakes while speaking 
first step of overcoming those mistakes or reducing the mistakes is accepting those mistakes that you're making accepting the mistake is important and when you do speak to yourself activity you start accepting those mistakes because there is no fear of judgment nobody is around to judge you you are your own judge and when you are your own judge that's like completely fine completely fine isn't it so yeah speak to yourself if you want to know more about this technique the steps that you need to take the possible topics more benefits and how you can use it to even increase your fluency i suggest you go and watch my previous video this is the video the link is given in the description box below and on the right hand side upper right hand side so from there you can get the video if you want to understand this particular technique in details now technique number 3 so technique number 3 is read aloud read aloud is something that i love personally this is not my favorite this is something that i totally love because you get to read a book well in read aloud technique what we do is we take up any text it can be a book it can be a magazine it can be a story book a novel maybe a newspaper everything works you take something up you take a text up and you read it out loud speak out the words now this technique is excellent to develop your fluency but do you know that this is also excellent to develop your confidence i have seen that this particular technique actually increases confidence of english learners and early english speakers they are able to develop their confidence why because number one benefit you are getting ready made correct sentences there is no fear of making mistakes so when you're speaking the sentences that are there in the book that means you're speaking ready made correct sentences correct sentence structure correct grammar correct vocab you don't have to worry about speaking accurate english you are provided with the accurate english you just have to speak it out loud read out loud because you're reading all these correct sentences out loud slowly and gradually when you're doing again and again repeating this activity over time your subconscious mind it starts picking up the correct sentence structures the vocabulary and it starts building your confidence because your brain is thinking that you're speaking english although you're reading out loud whatever is written but your brain gets a signal of speaking english and slowly and gradually your brain and your mouth both becomes habitual of speaking in english which in turn increases your confidence so this technique works for both fluency and confidence equally something that i love again i have made a video for this in details to so the steps the do's the don'ts of read aloud why it can't work why it works something that you should avoid uh, while doing read aloud it's all given in the video that i've already made previously the link is given in the description box below so do check the video out in order to understand this technique in details now don't go because let's do a read aloud demo are you ready to read aloud with me well let's do it let me select a book for you okay i'm going to pick my favorite book the alchemist by paulo coelho my all time favorite this is my personal favorite book and i'm going to read and do a demo for you how you can do the read aloud technique so this is going to benefit you this is the chapter number 1 on the first page of the chapter that's what i'm going to read in order to demo the boy's name was santiago dusk was falling as the boy arrived with his herd at an abandoned church the roof had fallen in long ago and enormous sky moor had grown on the spot where the sacristy had once stood he decided to spend the night there he saw it so that the sheep entered through the ruined gate and then laid some planks across it to prevent the flock from wandering away during the night 
there were no wolves in the region. But once an animal had strayed during the night, and the boy had had to spend the entire next day searching for it. He swept the floor with his jacket and lay down, using the book he had just finished reading as a pillow. He told himself that he would have to start reading thicker books. They lasted longer and made more comfortable pillows. It was still dark when he awoke and looking up, he could see the stars through the half destroyed roof. So that's how you're going to do the read aloud. You have to speak it out loud and try not to break the fluency. Like read it all at one go. Even if you're not sure about the meaning of the word, I suggest keep reading. And read with good tone. Do not read it flat, just flat. But use voice modulation while you're reading out loud. Now, these were all the techniques for today, the three techniques for you to become a confident English speaker that I'm sure that you're soon going to become. I know that, definitely you're going to become. So I hope you liked today's session. That was all for today. Please like the video, share the video and subscribe the channel if you haven't for one new lesson every day sharp at 8 a.m. Now I'm going to see you tomorrow. Oh, no, 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 not tomorrow. Today at 9.30 p.m. in the live session. So see you all in the live session today. Till then, take care and bye.